Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the software quality assurance plan or development methods which they use. Okay, so basically whenever you are planning to do something, so even for my video, so whenever I want to record the videos, I'll be planning things ahead. So basically this day I need to do, the, I need to do these units like that. We need to plan them, right? So only without a plan, we cannot do the things easily, right? Yes, because we'll be wasting our time in thinking only like what to do next, what to do next. So that is the reason why even with the quality assurance, they will clearly write a plan guys before everything. Okay. Yes. So let us go through guys. I'll be going this time. I'll be going through the theory. Then I'll be explaining you guys so that will be clear for you. Okay. Yes. The software quality assurance a SQA plan is an outline of a quality measurement to ensure quality level within a software development effort. Okay. So basically whenever what is the main reason of this concept of a software quality assurance guys. So they want to assure the quality of the software to be good. Right. Yes. So if you buy a software, so assume that you spent one dollar or ten dollars or hundred dollars on a single software and you did not like the software. So in that situation, the company loses two, two things. So the first thing is your referrals, guys. So basically, if you like the software, you will say to your friend, right? That software is really good, bro. You can buy it. It is really useful. We can use in this way. You can use in that way. So it is an indirect promotion which you are giving to that software, right? Yes. So the company will be losing this thing. And the second thing which the company will lose is the trust with the customer guys. So basically if, if this company releases one more application which is over better. So basically that is the best application but this customer will not buy it guys. Because previously he has the bad experience with the company then why he will buy it right. So these are the two things which the company will lose. So that is the reason why the quality assurance is really really important okay. So the plan is used as a baseline to compare the actual levels of quality during the development of the with the plan levels okay yes so basically they will plan a level by level and they follow it guys so they try to follow it and they will be checking it frequently okay yes so if the level of quality are not within the planning quality levels management will respond a pro okay so will respond appropriately as the documents within the plan so basically assume that in plan you told that your application okay can work with a 2gb ram okay and after development some development you told that with 2gb ram it is not possible so it is even not possible so we need at least 4gb plan so 4gb ram so in this situation so you are changing some things right yes so in at this moment so basically here the quality is good but these kind of small small changes will be considered guys so all these small small changes will also be considered with the respect to quality okay yes i gave you an odd example i think so it could not be a good example okay yes okay so basically they will be planning everything guys so the plan provides the framework and guidelines for development of understandable and maintainable code okay so the in okay Yes, so you can just go through the theory, right? So even if I am reading the theory, it is just like PPT reading, right? So how few faculties might be reading. Okay, so let us go through the steps. Okay, so steps to develop and implement the software quality assurance. So basically it is in total having five different steps, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So the first step is a document the plan. So basically what your brain is saying, like what you want to do, first document it. Because if, because we think of many things, but we do only few things right yes so that's true with everyone right so in the same way that is the reason why stop thinking and docu start documenting so that is the thing here so document the plan the software quality assurance plan should be including these sections so those are there are few sections guys okay so the first is a purpose section so basically why you want this software or why you are trying to make this plan are there any minimum requirements you need to satisfy so those purpose you will write here the section includes the specific purpose and scope of the particular SQA plan. So why you are making this plan? So that info will be stored here. So it should list the name of the software it cover it covered by the SQA plan and it intends to be the software. Okay. Yes. So reference document section. So basically to make this document, did you refer any documents? Did you use that documents plan or that documents idea and you made this? So those references will be written here. Similarly, management section. Okay. Yes. So this, the section describes the project org organizationality structure, task and responsibility. So what are the things that this management should do? So in that way you will be specifying them. Okay. Yes. 
okay so basically if you want to give if you want an example so assume that you are building an application so inside application there will be a coding team as well as the graphically designing team right so the gui they will be calling it as graphical user interface the front end designing team so they will not do coding right so they will be just designing the ui components they'll be showing you some images and based on that the coders and the designers will design them so we are having multiple management so all those managements you will be listing here similarly documentation section so basically what is documentation you will be writing everything clearly about the project like what things you will be doing what things you will be using what are the verification what are the validations all those things you will be mentioning so all those things will come under this documentation section section similarly standards practices conventions and matrices and metrics section so basically what are the standards which you are using are you following a cmmi model or you are following ieee 8000 model so in that way based on those models you will be deciding and review and inspection so whenever you want reviews and everything you will be mentioning here guys okay yes let us continue similarly we are having the software configuration management section so who is the leader who will be taking care of them everything you will be mentioning similarly problem reporting and correction action so basically if there is any problem whom you need to report is it the project manager or did or the project manager assistant or whom similarly tools and techniques so what tools which you are using all what techniques you are using similarly code control so basically what can code control media control supplies control and records and collection so basically these are all the sections you can say guys so in the first section only or the first step which is nothing but the documentation of the plan you will be mentioning each and everything guys because before uh, doing something you need to have a clear idea right yes so once you wrote everything even testing methodology also you will mention so basically you are doing black box testing regression testing white box testing what testing you want to use everything you will mention here because you don't want to miss any component right yes okay so the second step is obtain management acceptance so basically once you are ready to build a project you need to have the approval from the management right so based on your requirement based on the plan so assume that the management told you to use python for your project and you want to use some other language so in that situation you need to give an explanation to the management right yes so in that way the management permissions and all those things should also be managed so manage management okay participation is necessary for a successful implementation in an sqa plan so management is responsible for both ensuring the quality of the software and for pro and for providing the resources which are needed for the development so basically the management is only the one who will be giving you the budget right the money and all those things and even the employees so basically you are working under the management right yes so you can just go through the rest of the theory guys and the next step is nothing but obtain developer acceptance so you told that i'll be using c++ okay that's a good idea but is it accepted by your developer so are your developers ready to build that application using c++ so assume that you want to build a game okay so in this situation instead of a c++ a c hash will be better right using any kind of application right yes so in that way so basically the developers acceptance is also really important okay because you created a plan but that is not feasible so in that situation the developers are the one who will be identifying it right yes so please go through the theory con theory guys and similarly plan for implementation of the sqa plan so basically even for this plan implementation you need a proper plan right yes so uh, in sdlc we are having multiple steps right so after this step i'll be checking this uh, things after this step i'll be checking these things so in that way you need to plan them right yes okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right so please go through this theory part guys please spend around 5 to 10 minutes for each and every topic guys like read this notes okay i'm sure that you will be getting some idea on this concepts in depth right yes so at the end the last step is to execute the plan okay yes so once all the approvals are done you are ready to execute the plan you will be starting the project and you will be checking you will be uh, checking the quality and you will be ensuring it each and every step okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this concept so according to me i think each and every topic of this unit one has been covered guys so i'm clearly following the syllabus guys so whatever is there in the syllabus copy i'll be following them okay yes so i think unit 1 is done so in the next lecture i'll be i will be reviewing that so are every topics are done are there any missing topics and we'll be going through some important topics if there are any okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching